The tobacco has been color curing for about three or four weeks and it's ready for fermenting. But before we can really handle the tobacco, we need to bring it into case. When the tobacco is in case, it has a high enough moisture content to be pliable. As it is, the tobacco is bone dry and will crumble away very easily. I hung the tobacco in my bathroom with the door shut and the shower on as hot as it would go, like a poor man's humidifier. The steam built up quickly and after about 10 or 15 minutes the tobacco was pliable but not damp. Now to construct our fermenter we need a wire rack to place the tobacco on, a digital thermometer, a really small crock pot with some purified water and a large styrofoam cooler with a lid. Start by placing the crock pot inside the cooler. Be sure to leave plenty of room for the wire rack which goes in next. It's important to have the rack slightly elevated above the bottom of the cooler to ensure good air circulation around the tobacco. Here I'm just using some small stainless steel ramekins to do the job. Next place the tobacco on the rack. Try to place it in the cooler as loosely as possible. It should still be pliable, but smashing it together and wadding it up can still break it up at this point. Now add the purified water to the crock pot, filling it about three quarters of the way. Turn on the crock pot to the low setting and place the lid on the cooler. Let the fermenter sit for about one to two hours to come up to temperature. You are looking for a steady temperature of around 120 to 130 degrees. Use the probe of the digital thermometer to check the temperature without opening the lid. Keep checking the temperature over the course of several hours to ensure it stays within the target range. You may need to adjust the temperature on the crock pot or add on a power outlet timer to cycle it on and off to maintain the target temperature. 120 to 130 degrees should also produce just enough steam to keep the tobacco soft and pliable but not damp. You never want it to feel wet. If it's too damp, it will mold. If it feels slightly sticky to the touch, that's fine. It's just releasing some sap. Once you've reached the target temperature, let it sit overnight. The next day, remove the tobacco from the fermenter and shake it to air it out and loosen any of the leaves that may be stuck together. As you place the tobacco back into the fermenter, be sure to rearrange it from its previous orientation to ensure that it all ferments evenly. Don't forget to add more water to the crock pot as needed. After a day or two, you'll be able to calculate how long the water will last before needing to be refilled. You'll continue the process of shaking out and rearranging the tobacco leaves every day for four weeks, as well as refilling the crock pot as needed. After four weeks, the process should be complete. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you'd like to support this channel and get exclusive content and extras, consider supporting my channel on Patreon. It really does help a lot. The link is in the description below. And until next time, do it right, do it well, do it yourself.